Now, you remember I told you, we have the quadratic formula and it's cool, put a lot of work into it and now we can use it for any quadratic, right? And then we can see other interesting things like this, right? When you get a new tool, like I, I recently bought a, um, I recently bought a new screwdriver and it's like 10 times better than all my previous ones and it's got this automatic, I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, I'm not very handy, so I'm like, wow, this thing is amazing. And my friend who's actually handy, he's like, dude, I've had one of those for 10 years. Anyway, once you get a new tool, one of the first things you do is like, wow, what cool stuff can I do with this? Like, I didn't think I needed stuff that needed tightening around the house, but I go looking for things that I can tighten just because I have this new tool, right? Now we have this new tool, and so you might want to think, okay, well, now that I have this, and I spent all this effort like developing it, what else can I use it on? And here is an example, right? Now this equation here is not a quadratic. It's not a quadratic. How do I know it's not a quadratic? Because the x is not a Yeah, that's right. Like there is an x squared, but there's something else hanging around in here, right? There's this x to the power of 4, okay? Now if you're curious, this thing does have a name. Um, because it's a 4, it's called a quartic, as in quad, you know, for 4. Um, the power is 4. It's not a quadratic. However, I can deal with it using this tool as if it were a quadratic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to play some tricks to reduce this quartic to a quadratic. Bring it down to the level that I know how to deal with and then I'm going to solve the sucker. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. Here's a really important trick that mathematicians play all the time and you will meet again and again in your 11, 12 which is going to be introducing a substitution, right? It's sort of like a bait and switch. So this is all in terms of x's, but I'm going to introduce a new pronumeral, and traditionally it's the letter u. You can choose anything you like, but at least if we choose the letter u, we'll all be using the same one, right? Now what I'm going to do is I want to swap out those, those x to the 4s. They're a bit of a problem for me, right? So I want to rewrite this equation so it doesn't have x to the 4 in it, so it's not a quartic anymore. I want to rewrite it in such a way that it looks like a quadratic, okay? So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to swap these terms for is instead of every time I see x squared, I'm going to write u, okay? So if u equals x squared, I can get rid of this, right? That's nice. How will I get rid of this? Squared. Well, if I square this, right? If u is x squared, then u squared will be x squared squared, right? x squared squared. And by my index laws, I know that's x to the power of 4. Okay, so now I've got something to get rid of the x squared and I've got something to get rid of the x to the power of 4. That's going to turn this into a quadratic. Watch, right? Um, here's my substitution. I'll say that's just u squared, right? That's just my straight swap. In here, I've got 11 u. That's what I defined from the beginning. Plus 18. Okay, so I have rephrased my question, right? I've taken this quad equation, I've reduced it down to a quadratic. <laughs> That's okay, I get panic sometimes too. Did you get it? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Right. Do you want some bug spray as well? Just anyway, never mind. Okay. What I've got here, it's a quadratic. In fact, it's not even a quadratic. It's a simple quadratic. It's monic. It can be factorized very easily. Can you give me the pair of numbers we're looking for? What pair of numbers do nine I want? And two. Nine and two. Do me a little better than that. Negative two, negative nine, right? So I'm going to chuck in minus two, minus nine. Are you happy with that? Okay. So now when I do this, I can say, well, just like before, that's two or nine, right? But at this point, I've gone as far as I can go for solving u, right? Except the original question had nothing to do with u. U was like kind of a hack that I introduced to make it solvable, okay? So now that I've gotten to here, I want to get rid of the hack, right? Go back to what the question was originally about, which was x's, right? And right at the beginning, I said that u equals x squared, right? So down here, I'm going to go back to x squared, right? So I've got 2 or 9 here, right? And now if you just look at this one step at a time, suppose all you saw was that x squared equals 2, right? Just like in your quadratics, okay, over here, you know there's going to be two solutions to that, right? Two solutions. What are the two solutions just to that part of the equation? Plus or minus the square root of 2, right? You square either of those, which is what this is supposed to do, you'll get 2, right? But then you've got this other answer hanging around over here, right? So if this is all you saw, x squared equals 9, then you would also be able to say there's a plus or minus, and it's plus or minus... 3, because 9 is a perfect square, okay? 
So I'm finished. Cool. Now, this is interesting, by the way. Um, for quadratics, we're used to getting two solutions. But I have, count them, one, two, three, four solutions. It's kind of weird, but it shouldn't be that surprising. Because remember, we said this thing is a quartic, right? In fact, if this was a five, you'd get five solutions. If it was a six, you'd get six solutions, and on and on and on. Okay? So you'll get more. Right? So this method here, what did we do? Just take a step back. When you see a quad uh, an equation that's not a quadratic, right? See if you can rephrase it as a quadratic, reduce it down to a quadratic, choosing some kind of substitution, right? And this is a very, very common one, which is why I picked it as my first example. And then once you've chosen that, you just solve it like a normal one, okay? In here, mm -hmm, here we go. These are all of the steps in here where I've used my, my u substitution, okay? But once I've gotten to the end of the line with u, I then get rid of it and I go back to x's because that's what the original question was about. Okay? 